de gitaarexplosies van Jeff Healy, maar ook de tijdloze serene klanken van het magische echt maar Dead Can Dance trekken al om volle zalen, waarbij het enthousiasme van het publiek gigantisch is. as well. Uh, I hear uh, traveling around the world in time. Yes. Mm. Yes, we have many influences now huh? because we we're learning and the best way to, to learn is through experience. So each time we experience a new music we learn something. Do you understand? Yes, sure. Yes, I do understand. It's simply a package for, for sentiment. The music is a package for sentiment of poetic language between people uh -huh. and whatever vehicle you decide to use the, the, the ultimate ideal is to enter the heart and what are your sources of influence? life in general I think is the most direct immediate source of influence in, in musical terms it, it's, it's very difficult to, to understand the nature of music and how it affects you and influences your feelings. But the most important um, thing we place upon music is that, that it moves us, moves us to think, to feel.
It's it's not an indigenous music. I think maybe because we we have we have travelled to many places around the world and we have perhaps more of a world view and and more acceptance of other cultures mm -hmm. and um and what they have to offer mm -hmm. other people in the world. It it would be too affected, I think, if if our music was all the time in a place. I think it it it, it would mean that we had taken on the form, adopted the form, become this, when, when, when in fact this is a conditioning process of societies and, and de-individualization. Mm -hmm. so, but you know, it, it, it's always very difficult when, when one generalizes about what's British music or, or this. It's, it's a complex structure and what is popular is not necessarily what is popular with the mass of people.